Hello everyone, I am Kaya Pilivyaki and I'm a design journey art class expert for drawing with watercolors and inks while creating paintings and illustrations inspired by nature. And here we are on our last session together and I kept my favorite one for the end. I have been creating misty sceneries in my YouTube channel for a while now and everyone has been loving it. So today we're going to focus on how to achieve a blurred watercolor effect, a misty look and create a forest using simple shapes and lines and just get lost into the misty effect. Overall, a really cool looking piece of art. The materials we're going to use lastly and once again are the 24 watercolor paints from the Sadler Design Journey Assortment and the Brass Set. Yep, just these two. Our paper is a 5 size watercolor cold press 300 GSM. One of the most basic techniques in watercolors that is also used in so many ways is being able to create a flat color wash and even more a gradient wash. So I usually go with this on wet on wet technique. This means I firstly make sure I wet my paper by adding a thin and clear water layer. Be careful not to make a pull and spread it nicely. After I feel like the paper is wet and ready, I then grab my color and start from the top going down, trying to evenly spread it. And for this, I am using the flat brush since it makes it easier to cover more space evenly. I try to make sure I got all the parts and since I also want to create a gradient, I then go over again with even more color, a bigger color to water ratio to make it darker. If you have any spots that you feel like they are not smooth or blending enough, then make sure your brush is clean and go over them again. In other cases, this would be enough and we would let it dry, but when you want to create a misty effect by adding more elements to your scenery, this means you need to have your elements blurred out, and this can only happen if the paper is still wet while you're placing your strokes. So let's say we wanted a blurred shape here. I would tap some color and let the wet paper and paint work on their own, while watching the paint spread. The next and actually a really important step on the misty look is remembering that you need depth and layers and contrast that will all work together into giving the misty overall look. This means you have your very very light washes of color on the back and as you move forward and you have more details everything it gets closer to you so also darker. The 
The best way to create a lot of values from one color in watercolors is to play around with the paint and water ratio. You can start very light, meaning a lot of water and very little paint, and then slowly adding more paint, building up the vibrancy and dark tone of the color. More paint means more opaque and less transparency. Lastly, if you feel the painting is not as misty and foggy as you would like it to be, then don't be afraid to re-wet the paper and give another layer of details. Try to have light strokes and give the water and paint the chance to once more do their magic and blur out each other. Let it dry and then again add your next layer of details. Guys, I'm so excited we got into details on how to achieve the misty effect. I truly love it so, so much. Every time I look at it, the feeling it gives me, I mean, yeah. And now you are ready to start your journey challenge and create a mesmerizing painting. Step one of any misty scenery is wetting all of our page and prepping it for the wet on wet technique. Again, with the same color palette as the one we used for the technique explanation, I am mixing a muted green blue color and start spreading it with a white bigger brush from the set, going from the bottom and up. Keeping the lower part darker and creating a gradient. Adding more color and black if I need to make it more deep. Then, while having my paper still wet, I start placing the first trees of our winter misty forest. The ones that are the most far away behind should be the lighter, more transparent, and as you move your way closer to you, the trees will get darker. The shapes of the trees start with simple vertical lines and then abstract brush movements for the branches. While letting them spread on the wet paper or using a wet brush to spread the lower part down so it can blend with the next row of trees.
So you basically create three lines and each time you start a new one you go lower and darker to complete the full forest misty scenery, like we did in the values example technique. Lastly, an optional additional detail is to add white lines and spots using the white color pencil to add even more to the mystical feeling. And lastly, removing the tape is the best feeling ever, revealing your final painting. I really hope you enjoyed our last time together and I cannot wait to see your beautiful misty scenery so make sure to share them with me on Instagram under the hashtag MyDesignJourney. Thank you so so much for being here with me throughout all the sessions and following this design journey it was so so beautiful and always remember that it is everything about finding inspiration in nature and not being afraid to just go out there and explore and being creative also don't forget to check out all the other amazing experts to keep learning and being creative